All right, I'm gonna try to take out this 270k Min Guardians team with my 225k X Men. So really, the key to this is uh, control, control, control. Um, need to hopefully focus on the Minerva early on before uh, she can revive somebody, or if you don't want to get stuck on like Thanos or Groot, have to kill them and then they get revived by her. Um, so I still have Deflects up, which it really helped with this team because of the early burst damage. So we still have our hangar, which is important. I always like to try to dispel Groot's Taunt turn one, and ugh, see, it took away the in, in, the uh, defense up instead. Uh, that really sucks, but yeah, if they don't have the deflects, you have a better chance of getting it too. Um, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and hit through with Wolverine just to clear some more deflects. Um, hope we can get them down. And then, uh, man, I hate wasting her special here. Groot's about to lose his taunt, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, there is a slow and a bleed. I don't need to strip those yet. Um, I'm going to wait for the Minerva ult before I use her uh, her ult to remove debuffs. And plus, there's the Thanos taunt anyway, so now I got him to target, which is okay. But, yeah. <coughs> Alright, so she's blind, so I might as well go ahead and strip these debuffs and pull them to her. Um... I only have one charge on Storm, and uh, not really quite in danger yet. Um, we got the Deflects back up from the Cyclops special, so that's really important, because we're probably about to see an ult from uh, Rocket here. Okay, now is when we use the Psylocke ult. So the turn meter actually works pretty well for her to uh, strip all these debuffs and hand them over to the enemy team here. Um, so that's kind of nice how that works out, a little convenient. Uh, and then there, okay, and then that's what we're going to try to dispel with the Psylocke special next turn when she comes around. And uh, hopefully they'll kill my Phoenix, because that would be nice. <laughs> uh, we have the immunity on Groot, it's kind of annoying, um, but we're going to go ahead and use it since we got the two charges. This gives us a 90% chance of landing slows on everybody, um, so that's pretty good. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and use the Phoenix Ult here to dispel Thanos. And now we need to lay into Minerva. Thankfully, we did get a stun on Rocket, so that's helpful. And we really have to get her down. So uh, in order to do this, I'm actually going to go ahead and move from Groot across to ensure that she chains to maximum number of enemies. And then I uh, hope I don't lose anybody with these slows. Oh, I need Phoenix to die. There she goes. Perfect. All right. Now we get no defense up downs that was weird uh i wonder if that's a glitch from the update oh no there's the defense downs now okay i don't know what happened there uh <laughs> that was really weird <laughs> i haven't seen that before but anyway uh let's uh kill star lord here and then uh this should be easy to clean up no big deal um but yeah with the uh, x-men you just kind of want to slow play it and pick your Pick your uh, targets wisely. Um, oh, I should have taunted with him actually. But yeah, let's get rid of those buffs and then hopefully he doesn't revive again. Come on, just die, Groot. Die and go away. I'll go. But yeah, um, I love that Psylocke ult on like turn two. If you can coax out the Minerva ult and get all those bleeds and then maybe some blinds from Star-Lord and throw them back at the enemy team. I mean, even though I didn't get to choose who they went to because I only had Thanos to target, I would have put him on Rocket if I could to avoid his ult. Um, it's really nice to be able to clear all that stuff and make it really like clean, like just cleanse your team, right? <laughs> Even if the debuffs don't stick, because Thanos has really high resistance in this case, uh, it's just really nice when you're fighting Guardians to get rid of that and uh, pull all those, uh, I guess it's the bleeds for 15% damage or whatever from Minerva. I mean, that's it's a ton of damage and it hits your whole team. So clearing all those out really helps. Um, and then it's just a little bit of luck. If I had gotten the... Um, taunt removed on Groot on turn one with Phoenix basic that would have been really nice because I could have laid into Minerva earlier and started removing her buffs and uh, just getting her down quickly um, of course she's the first dom domino you want to fall on a Min Guardians team because otherwise she'll revive whoever you kill um, but in this case I didn't get to do that and it was uh, a little bit tougher but that's okay that's how it goes um, but, you know, I was still able to control the fight, even though I was down like 40 or 50k 
uh, points total. What was it? 225 to 270. So, yeah, 45,000 point difference. Uh, still, good win. Uh, good show. Um, and also, other key I would really say is uh, when using X-Men is let Storm get two charges before you use her special because you have such a good chance of getting those slows to land. And uh, I think that's really important, too, to kind of try to control the fight a little bit more. If she's about to die, you just got to burn it. Um, you know, that's one thing. But if you can, hang on to it for a second turn and uh, get that second charge. So, yeah, X-Men versus Men Guardians. That's how we do it.